a good book too. Mm. We're about to head off to Croatia, Dubrovnik, and then we're going to drive straight up to Clitvis Lakes, which will take about six hours drive. So. Zach's very nervous about driving. I'm a little bit nervous about driving, yes. Anyway, see how we go. Why do you have your sunnies on, Zach? Because it's bright. There goes another one. They're all just flying past us. Can I just say, we're going 100, which is what all the signs are saying. But if you ever come to Croatia, there's pretty much like no speed limit. Well, no, there are speed limits, but Croatians seem to think that it's just a sign that means if you feel like going that speed limit, feel free to go it, but we're not going to follow it. Try not to feel the pressure too much about people getting like right up behind you, like a full line of people. It's a bit stressful. It's very stressful. Mm. They're called a hummingbird moth. They're in Croatia, and they actually do. They look very similar to... They've got the long trend yeah, that comes like, out. Yeah. But they're actually technically a, a moth. But they're called hummingbird, but they're called hummingbird moth. moth. So this is Splitvis Lakes. Nisha and I were just talking about it, and some of this feels very similar to Tassie. You've got that with a mix of, it reminds me of some of the places we walked in America, through some of the lakes and um, the autumn season over there where you get a lot of the brown and the reds and the yellows and all those colours. It's very, very pretty. Very pretty. It's a good day out there. Mm. So what do we got? We got nice big sandwich, tomato, egg, chicken, cheese, gouda cheese, and one of the best views we've ever seen in our life over at Dubrovnik. So good.
Dubrovnik's been one of the best places we've actually stayed at, hey? Yeah, it's been good. It's been